Hey there, everybody. I hope everybody is doing well in our time of self-quarantine, at least at the time that I'm recording this. Uh, we are still in um, self-quarantine here in the middle of April. So this is the Vincero, or Vincero, depending on how you want to pronounce it, vessel. Now, of course, just like many watches, this is going to come in a lot of colorways. This is the black PBD case with black dial. There's blue dials, white dials, etc. You can check them all out at the website. I'll have the link below. And I want to get this right out of the way. Speaking of that link below, that is an affiliate link. So if you use that link or the link on watchreport.com to go ahead and purchase one of these watches, watchreport.com will get a small percentage of that. So this is the Vincero Vessel. Now, I got to be honest with you. When Vincero reached out to me, um, and I don't know why I'm pronouncing it Vincero, it's probably Vincero, um, but I, I, I just, my first instinct is to say Vincero. Uh, but when they first reached out to me about reviewing a watch, I went and took a look at their website. Now, everybody here no, I shouldn't say everybody. If you're new here, hello, how you doing? Please subscribe so you never miss any of our content. We'd really appreciate it. But if you're not new here, then you probably know, no matter if there's an affiliate link, no matter if there is something sponsored, no matter what the case is, I'm going to give you the real deal and my real thoughts on it. And my first thought was, because we get a lot of emails every single day, and I went over and I took a look at the website, and I was like, hmm, these... These really aren't the type of watches that we like to review here on watchreport.com. And I'm just going to say it, fashion watches. And that's exactly what they scream to me. And that's exactly what this watch screams to me. Um, all of their watches are quartz. This is a Miyota quartz, as you saw on the screen there. And, um, you know, uh, they have one automatic watch uh, currently in their lineup. But the rest of them are all quartz. Now, there is nothing wrong with quartz. I know a lot of watch enthusiasts and a lot of watch nuts, they don't like quartz or quartz has to be really, really cheap. I don't always agree with that. I don't have a problem with quartz watches, to be perfectly honest. Now, I'm not going to run out and spend $3,000 on a quartz watch anytime soon. Yeah, that probably isn't happen. Would I pay $1,000 for a Tag Heuer uh, quartz watch to Aqua Racer? Probably, because I like the way it's configured better than I do the automatic version. But that's just me, and it really wouldn't bother me because I like everything else about that watch. It really wouldn't bother me so much that it was quartz instead of automatic. Um, I'm not that finicky when it comes to that particular detail. But back to the vessel here. So what you're looking at here is a very IWC uh, Aqua Timer inspired case design. And um, like I said, I took a look around at the website and initially as I was scrolling through watches, I'm like, Ugh, I don't really think I want to review anything here. And then I came across this. And that is really the only reason that I decided I wanted to review one of these is because it looked so much like the IWC Aqua Timer. And um, is it a dead ripoff? No, but obviously it's very similar. You could see the case. You could see, you know, the uh, the dual crowns. And yeah, that's what they were going for. But at the time of this recording, middle of April here, when you just go to the website, this is listed at two. What is it? Two fifteen, two hundred twenty-five dollars. But when you add it to cart. $172. Now that is for this rubber strap version. It is a silicone rubber. It very much reminds me of the Barton Elite style straps, but I'm not sure if it exactly is. It does seem to catch a lot more lint and dirt than the Barton Elite straps that I've had in the past. Um, and it doesn't say it anywhere on there, but they could be making them for Vincero and I just don't know. Um, but you have a pretty basic looking watch, 200 meters water resistant. They didn't clutter up the dial or anything. It looks nice enough. $172, you still are getting a sapphire crystal along with that Miyota Quartz, uh, auto, or yeah, Miyota Quartz automatic really, but along with that Miyota Quartz movement. Now, uh, dive style watch, 
but you're talking, really you're talking still a fashion watch here, okay? I personally really wouldn't trust that 200 meters water resistant. I don't know what you want to do with this watch. I really wouldn't be taking it into the pool or uh, at least not for a very long period of time. I definitely wouldn't personally take it into the ocean uh, or anything like that. That uh, second crown that operates that inner rotating bezel, you could see uh, here on, on the screen, it is... You, you're just gonna move this. Uh, you're gonna move that inner bezel like all day long. It just that crown just moves so freely and easily, and it grabs on everything, grabs on your pocket, and when you rub it up against something, etc. So just keep that in mind. If you're somebody that's a little OCD about where that inner bezel is and where that arrow is on that inner bezel, this will absolutely drive you nuts. Um, on the wrist, it looks pretty nice in my opinion. Uh, feels pretty good. You have a couple of extra spots there uh, left on my seven and a half inch wrist. So probably fit up to about an eight inch wrist, I think comfortably with this particular strap on it. Now, speaking of this strap, this has quick change pins and they're kind of odd. If you take a look there, kind of odd in the way that the bars are done on here for the quick, uh, quick release strap. And uh, something else to note, Unless you wanted to cut that bar off, there's no way to remove these quick release pins from the strap. You would have to cut it off and then use your own uh, 22 millimeter width uh, uh, spring pin to be able to use uh, that strap without those pins. That's what I was trying to say. I was gonna get at it eventually. Uh, but overall, I would have to say at $172, and I hope that price is still going when this video goes live, at $172 for a Sapphire Crystal, you're getting that IWC Aqua Timer look. Um, not a bad watch. Uh, it, you know, it, I don't particularly love the strap. Uh, there is bracelet versions. They were supposed to send me a bracelet version. They were out of stock at that time to send me the sample. So it is like an H-Link style bracelet. I didn't get to check that out, but and when it comes to the loom, I didn't forget about the loom, when it comes to the loom, it is not so good. Uh, on their website, they show all the markers glowing. They don't glow on my example at all whatsoever, just the hands, the, uh, the hour, minute, and second hand. So uh, if you're a loom junkie, this is definitely not gonna be the watch. But at $172, I, you know, I don't know, I think my expectations maybe are a little bit too high, so. Uh, at $172 with a sapphire crystal and the quartz and this style and design, really, you could do a lot worse for $172. So if you like this video and you want to see more, check out the uh, full written review at watchaport.com. I'll have the link down in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, do so. Hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell. We never miss any of our content. And you could follow us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Talk to you on the next one.